Welcome. This is Olubola Adele. I'm going to show you how to create a broadcast list on WhatsApp. As you can see, the WhatsApp app is there and the WhatsApp for business is the second one. So I'm clicking on WhatsApp. When you go inside WhatsApp, it's going to bring you to your charts. So here, the three dots at the top, the top right hand corner, click on it and it's going to say new group, new broadcast. Click on new broadcast. Okay. So while it's rolling, um, it's going to lo load all your contacts that you have on your phone. So the reason it's taking this time is I have... Um, quite a lot of um, contacts. So here. So now what I want to do is I want to go down. Let's assume I'm going to show you how to do a broadcast with Abel Kuta. Abel Kuta. So I'm going to select Abel Kuta Church. Just tap on it. Abel Kuta GWT. Abel Kuta. Select it. As you can see, it's coming up with a, a circle and a tick, Abel Kuta, Abel Kuta, and it's showing at the top. And if you read at the top, it says new broadcast, six of 256 selected. For each broadcast list, you can have 256 people. So I'm selecting Abel Kuta, Long Green Truman, Abel Kuta, Mrs. Ted Joshua, Abel Kuta, uh, Premature, Abel Kuta, Real Estate, Abel Kuta, Ronke, Abel Kuta Wale. And then I'm going to search for, in case I have Abel Kuta anywhere else. So I'm going to type in Abel Kuta. But this way that I showed you, selecting that way, it's one of the easiest because it makes it so easy to um, put <clears throat> the contact in the list. So I'm searching for more Abel Kuta, uh, more Abel Kuta contact. I'm searching for Abel Kuta contact. So what you do is just click on that. And now we have Pastor Mike Abel Kuta. But this way it takes a while, but just be patient with it. And um, once you've typed it, when you want to type, click on this um, this circle and kind of like a magnifying glass. Click on it. When you click on it, you open this search. Then you type in whatever you want to type. I don't know how you saved your people. So make sure that this cursor, this green cursor that is showing, should be at the end of that A. Don't let... don't. If you have a gap like this, it tends to take forever. So if you have a gap, just press X to go back and then select another Abel Kuta. Then type again. That magnifying glass, this magnifying glass, Abel Kuta. Click back. Then at the bottom, there is a magnifying glass again. Click on it because you want to search. So when you search for that, identify that. If it's not coming up with Abel Kuta, make sure your cursor is flashing. That green cursor next to Abel Kuta, that's A. Make sure it's flashing. Then at the bottom, at the bottom right hand corner, there is a magnifying glass again. Click on it. You are telling it to search. So I'm going to go back. I'm, I, what I did is I deleted A and I'm going to click on. Uh -huh. When I deleted A, it, it showed me Abel Kuta people. So set, click on K in the show, Shogunle Abel Kuta. Now it disappears again. So I have to type Abel Kuta again. I have to type Abel Kuta again. Then do, press that magnifying glass. 
at the bottom right hand corner and if it's not doing anything you can type a again press the magnifying glass at the bottom and then click on jude abel kuta then again abel kuta press the magnifying glass at the bottom right hand corner that cursor must be showing then search do that do that um, make sure it's showing then mrs afolabi abel kuta so again again this magnifying glass at the top click on it when you do that you type in abel kuta okay then there's the magnifying glass moves from the top it comes to the bottom then click on that then i'm selecting mrs afolabi oh mrs afolabi i have to uh, um i saved the name twice so that's why i deleted it then i'm clicking on the search at the bottom make sure the cursor is flashing at the top then click the search that magnifying glass at the bottom as you can see there are many abel kuta people here so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to create a database uh, a broadcast list of everyone on my contact list does it that is in abel kuta so basically what i want to do with that is that I want to market to them all this Abel Kuta contact and I will save my broadcast as Abel Kuta. So I'm typing Abel Kuta again. Abel Kuta. The, the wonderful thing about um, broadcast this list is that you, once you send the message to all of them, once you send the message to all of them, they will receive it. But there is a but. There is a but with this broadcast list. You need to send message one by one at the beginning to each one of them on that your Abel Kuta broadcast list. I'm going to show you another video. If you don't do that, then the message is not going to go. So I'm still typing Abel Kuta Abel Kuta, and then I'm going to click on this magnifying glass at the bottom. I'll select another person. So now let's assume that I've created all my list. This is the all. The, these are 256 people of Abel Kuta that I've selected. Then this green um, square tick next to Abidemi Elegbeleye Akure. That's this thick this um green just click on it so can you see it says 21 recipients you created a broadcast list with 22 recipients so here this broadcast list has been created now these three dots at the top right hand corner click on it then I want to rename this and call it Abel Kuta. Then I'm going to click on Broadcast List Info. And then when I come here, just it says Untitled List. Click on that Untitled. No. Click on these three dots at the top right hand corner. Then here is going to, you can change Broadcast List Name. So click on change broadcast list name. And here I'm going to call it Abel Kuta. And I'm still going to add all my contact. Once you've typed the name of the broadcast, then click on OK. Voila. All these 21 people will receive your, they will receive anything you sent to them. But there is a but. You need to, before you can do that, before you can do that, you need to come into each one of them, this Abel Kuta, message this person one by one. 
and you can send something like good morning uh, good morning all our prayers shall be answered kind of like or if you have something that so here uh -huh. If you have something that you want to send, you can send it like a prayer. Don't send your products at the beginning of this. Don't just start marketing. Bagam. And just send them your products that you're selling. No. Make sure that you, are, you, 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 you build rapport. You build a relationship. Most of them, you have not spoken to them or chatted with them in maybe years. And now, you just want to start selling products. No. We don't do it like that. You can send them a, an educational video about yourself. You can send them prayers. You can send them uh, something that would inspire them. You can write. Make sure there are things that you wrote with your name at the bottom. I'm going to show you. So this, how do you access this? Um, how do you access? How do you get your broadcast list? <laughs> So this is um, <laughs> yeah, this is this is. Can you see this? Um, it has circle. It has a bell kuta, and then I want to show you. It's different from other ones. It's different from other things that I have. If you can see the display picture, it has like a megaphone. That's what a broadcast list looks like. So I, I'm clicking on that a bell kuta. Now, the next one, Abel Kuta G W T. Do a message and say good morning. All our prayers shall be answered. You have to do this first for all of them. If you don't, the broadcast is not going to go unless the person is someone that has been you've been chatting with for a while because that's the way um whatsapp created it so these are contacts that i've had for i don't know maybe 10 years and i've not really um done anything with them so i'm coming down to abel kuta don't worry when you have some people responding in a very funny manner or something you know just reply them appropriately tell them how you connected and if it's a number that um the person is not using again so then you can remove that person from your broadcast list a broadcast list is those lists whereby those pastors that will send you message every morning, every morning you are in a broadcast list. That's why you are getting the message. So the whole essence of this broadcast list is to, so I'm going down, I'm going down in this um, Abel Kuta broadcast list and I'm sending good morning, all our prayers shall be answered to all of them. I'm sending it to all of them. And I need to do this. So I'm going to Abel Kuta Premature Ejaculation. And good morning. All our prayers shall be answered. And then you go back to that broadcast list again. Abel Kuta. So you do that until you get to the last one. And that's the 250 if you don't do it like this, your message is not going to be delivered. It's not. It's not going to show that too thick. That too thick. It was just going to show one. And that means that one did not get to that person. If you don't do it like this, it's going to show one tick. Look at this. One tick. I did a broadcast. This person was in a broadcast list before. And I sent it, but because I didn't do one at a time, it now it didn't deliver. So that is how you create your broadcast list on WhatsApp. If you're not using this, try and create as many 
broadcast list as you can. If you are the if you are the type that you dealt with many people over the years, anybody you speak to, collect their number, save their number. You can put them in broadcast list according to location. Maybe Abekuta, maybe Abuja, maybe Lagos, maybe um, Festac, maybe. Akure, you can have different broadcast lists. In fact, you can have broadcast lists if you are into um, foundations. You can have contact like that. You can have maybe work. You can have church. You can have um, friends. You can have school mates. You can have different. Call them. Make sure you put them in and um, put them in different lists. Rename your broadcast list, and this will really help your business. So, and what you want to do is you want to be sending information to them. So, once I've sent all this message to all of this person individually, then any message I send from this broadcast list will go and they will receive it. They will receive it. Um, you don't need to do any work. All these 22 people. Just send this message from here. Just send it from here and it, it will go. Like I can put in my message. I can do like um, something like believe in yourself. There is greatness within you. And put your name. Always put your name. Make sure it's in bold at the bottom. Something like that. Or you can put, if it's in the morning, good morning. Something like that. And send it. Once you, see, once you do it through this broadcast list now, and you click this arrow that says go, all of them will receive it. But now, let me, send, let me send it. Let me show you. I'm going to send this now. Good morning. Believe in yourself. There's greatness within you. And then maybe if you uh, you can decide to uh, health and wealth coach. Something like that. You want to let people know what, who you are and send it. So this message, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go into the ones that I've sent a message to, like this one. Yeah. So once they have read it, it will show that they've read it. And the ones that I've not sent any message to, where is the broadcast? Okay. Okay. That's the broadcast list. The ones I'm going to show you some, one that I've not sent. I've not sent a message to this person, lead resources. So it's just going to go tick. This person is not going to receive it because I've not chatted with them in a long time. So what I want to do now is I want to say good morning manually and then you see double tick. So now anytime I now send the broadcast list, this person will receive it. So thank you very much. Use this and help your business and um Share your content, share what you are doing, share, do, do your videos and send it out there. Thank you. Bye-bye.